Hey, um, welcome to section 6.4, where we're going to start our study of logarithms. Um, it's probably best to just start with a definition of what a logarithm is. And so let's derive where it comes from. So we have, so suppose we have the function f of x equals 2 to the x. We can draw the graph of f of x. And from the previous videos, we know that it's going to intersect 1. at, And then when it's 1, it'll be 2. So we get dot there, a dot there. And then it sort of shoots up um, pretty rapidly. OK, so. One thing to notice is that this function um, passes the horizontal line test. And that means that it has an inverse function. For the time being, we're going to call it f inverse of x, where when we compose the two, f of x equals just x. And now we're going to give this inverse function a name. We're going to call it f inverse of x is actually what we'll declare log sub 2 of x. And this is the logarithm with base two. And so specifically, it's the function that um, if we plug in some number like two to the a, then log two of two to the a just gives back a. Um, that's what it means for it to be the inverse function. Also, because inverse functions go the other way, we also have that not e, but at the moment 2, log 2 of some number a also just returns a. Um, so in that way, a logarithm um, is just an inverse function. Um, so, you, so it makes it um, tough to compute because we don't always know the inverses right away. So something like log 2 of 9, um, we, we don't really know what it is. We can find approximations for it. But specifically, um, it satisfies Two log two of nine equals nine. So it's the solution to the equation and two to the x equals nine. Um, and so that's really all a logarithm is. It's just an inverse function. And so because it's the solution to 2 to the x equals 9 right now, and 2 cubed equals 8, we know that log 2 of 9 um, is just a little bit bigger than 3. So it's not equal to 3, but it's going to be close to 3. All right, um, so that's all a logarithm is. Um, we're going to scroll up. I, I did my notes in an order I ended up not really liking. Um, and just talk a little bit about the history. Um, so the weird thing to me is that um, logs were actually used um, well before um, exponential expressions. They actually have a really long history. Um, there's precursors out of um, Babylon 
and China. And the typical way they were used is to um, approximate multiplication. And I'll sh we'll talk about an algorithm of that later. Um, the way that they were typically used to approximate multiplication is using an interesting fact about logs is that when you have a log in any base B of X, Y, it actually splits up as log B of X plus log B of Y. So in the days um, before calculators, um, if you wanted to compute the product of X and Y and just get like get an approximation of it, you might take a log, then be able to just compute a sum and then exponentiate it to get back to what the product is. Um, logarithms were then um, formalized um, in about the 1500s and actually took um, a couple hundred years to get them right. So it was mostly because people had this idea that you could use a function in a sort of way, something that has this property up here. Um, and it just took a while to get that set straight. So, and I think this is just an important thing to keep in mind that in history, this is something that maybe took a hundred years um, to figure out. So that doesn't actually mean it's, that usually means it's not obvious. Um, you know, 500 years later, it's the present day and we've refined it quite a bit where we feel like we can teach students logarithms in about a week. Um, but they're not always, they're not always that obvious um, to students. It's a little tricky, so it's okay. If, um, you don't understand it at first because when they were first being discovered, it took quite a while. Um, it's not something we're expected to know right away. Of course, by the end of this class, come midterm three, um, you will be. Anyways, um, I think that's it for this video. In the subsequent videos, um, we're gonna be talking about properties of logs and solving equations with logarithms. All right, see you later.